Welcome back. Today I am going to try another Nyanika style bloom. I did this one before and it looks really cool. The pigment uh, powder was really heavy and it went down, but it created this really cool frame around this flower, which my friend Michelle from um, Boyle River Art said looks like a carnation and it totally does. So I'm gonna try this again. I'm gonna try and make the bloom smaller. I'm also gonna make the surround a lot lighter. So not put as much pigment powder into the resin. So let's see what's gonna happen. So today I'm gonna use Flamingo Alcohol Ink by Ranger, and I've got Perlex Super Bronze. My white is gonna be Julie's Bloom Paste. And that's where we're at. I think when I checked this just about a minute before I started the video, this was at about 94, three, three, four. <laughs> Let's see where we're at now. 94, 95, 96. I wanted it to be at least 95. Yeah, so we're at 96. 96 and a bit, just under half. Also this time, I mixed up less resin. The previous time I mixed up three ounces of resin, which I did not need that much. I'm gonna put about that, which it looks about 10 ounces. Whoop. And do like another less than 10 ounces. And the rest of this is gonna go in there. Do I have everything that I need? Oh, I do need one more. And three cups. Yep. And uh, just a little bit in here. And a little bit in there. Whew! Almost messed that up. I'm just gonna help it into those corners. Not really corners, nooks. Nooks and crannies. And then I can chase those bubbles out later. I'm gonna use just like a tiny amount. All right, that's good. I'm just gonna do one drop. Also remember I did like a drop and a half. Ooh, actually I scraped just a little bit from when I not wiped off the nozzle. Put that in. Okay, it just needs a little bit more mixing. See a few little mica pigments have floated to the top there. Give that a good stir in again. That's gonna be one, that'll be two, and this'll be three. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there's a thing, a little dried bit of just powder from the top, or not powder, but dried ink, alcohol ink. Do try and wipe those off. All right, I'm gonna set that there. I said I was gonna start with this one. Give this another final stir. Wow, it might still even be too heavy. <laughs> too late now. All right.
probably had a little blobby there. It got a little messy there too. Let's go back in here. Okay. Oops. So let's deblob this as much as possible. Onto the the pink flamingo. I think that's all I want to do for that one. Still have that much left. Okie dokie, here we go. Okay, that looks good. The drag part now. So I'm going to do kind of a curve like that. So I am still kind of hoping to kind of give it like an opening petal look. That's it, folks. Give this one little final torch and call it good. See you when it's cured.
Oh my, we are at the moment of truth part and I am very excited about this. Look how far that bronze came in. Like it came in all the way up here, which is really cool. The only thing is I'm not sure if it'll actually be seen because in the areas where the bronze did not touch the side of the mold, it came in. And if you can see here, the white actually went out. And that's because the resin goes in over the surface and comes out a little bit underneath. So it does one of these. So especially like in this area here, you can see that the white has gone beyond where the bronze is. And the only time the bronze is on the other side of the white where it was when I initially put it down was where it was touching the mold and it, the mold holds on to it so it doesn't move forward, which is why really when you're blooming, you try not to have your white touch the edge because it'll prevent it from moving in um, as much as it could. So, all right, <laughs> let's get this out. I was debating whether I should put a back on this or not. And in the end, I decided not, which reminds me, I was supposed to go get backing. So I have my, my stack of colors here that we can go through and see. All right, let's get this out. I think I'm gonna put, I don't even know. Let's, let's do black first so that we can have a good look. All right, one, two, three. Oh, it is gorgeous. It's so wispy though. Oh, oh I love it, but wow. It's really, really wispy. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm glad I didn't put a black back on it. Let's see what yellow looks like. Ooh. Nope. That, that's not the one. Purple. Uh, a little better. Wow, I can't get over how wispy that is there. Probably, well, totally should have had my white a little bit darker, but look how it turned out in the center. So I'd have to be really careful about those center petals. All right, let's go with the pink. The pink will probably make that pink disappear. Well, not too badly. That's actually not bad. White makes the white disappear, makes the pink stand out, and the bronze, orange, not bad. Ooh, red, no. <laughs> green, no. That green, definitely no, no, no. The orange was a no, the white was an okay, and the pink, I think, were the best. White and pink. Hmm. The purple, I think, was a no. Yellow, no. And the black. The black is okay. But I just don't know. Don't I have a navy one? Oh, I left one. I thought I had a navy one. Navy. Huh, it looks better with the black. Oh well. Although I'm still not sure. I think I'm glad that I just left it as it is and it'll change depending on what surface it hangs out on. 
But there it is. Wow. I like that. That is so delicate. Very, very light and delicate. I just wish these outer petals had shown up more like these inner ones. So maybe just a hint, a hint more white. But because it was so light, my bronze did show through. So pros and cons. All in all, love it. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed this one. As always, if, uh, if you're here and you're not subscribed, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button and click the notification bell to all. The next time I upload a video, you will be notified. Bye for now.